Hi, welcome to Rate This Gear. Today I'll be doing a video review of the Strike Mask. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my friends at JubaySports.com for sending me this product so I can do a review for you guys. Uh, and I'll leave a link in the description box to let you know where you can get it or get more information about this product. So with that said, uh, I thought this product was a very, very cool idea. And what this essentially is, it's, a, it's like a face type of a uh, piece of equipment. Uh, it's very well padded. The construction of it is, uh, it's not a leather construction, but I think, uh, you know, it's, it, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll last a while without a problem. It's got this very thick padding inside, so you can beat on it pretty good. And what this is, basically, it's like a face, and you can strap it around to any heavy bag, pretty much any heavy bag, via the Velcro straps. And I'll take off the device to show you how it looks a little bit up close. Uh, I did try to set it up on a heavier heavy bag, which is a 300 uh, pound heavy bag. Uh, and the velcro straps did not reach around, but it should fit a variety of different heavy bags. Now, uh, one of the drawbacks for me for this device was that the uh, fastening part was a little bit rough in the sense that you could fasten it, but you have to fasten it very tight because once you start throwing heavy punches on it, I mean, straight punches are fine when you're throwing straight jabs and things like that. Once you start throwing uppercuts, it will start to move a little bit and uh, the hooks as well. So you have to really uh, strap it on tight. Now I think it might have to do with uh, the type of heavy bags you're using it on. I noticed that like um, uh, a canvas heavy bag is a little bit different as far as the way it holds versus a leather heavy bag. And um, so it all depends on what type of a heavy bag you use it on. But on this one, it's just pretty tight. Um, the heavy bag itself starts to move around and it just has to do with this particular setup here. But it will move around. And basically what you would do is you throw straight punches and it gives you a guide where the face would be. You could throw hooks. Um, obviously this heavy bag moves a little bit. So whenever you throw straight shots and uppercuts, body shots, you know, face shots, I mean it stays on pretty well. Once you start really hitting it hard with hooks and stuff, it starts to, you know, move around a little bit. So I think uh, the design um, is cool. I mean I don't see any other way you could probably strap this onto a heavy bag without it really moving. But if these guys come up with a way to really uh, wait for it to really sit really tight, I think it could be a, a lot more, uh, a lot better uh, to use. Uh, so this has been a, a very cool, interesting piece of equipment to review, to use in the gym. It does give you a cool guide to where the face is and it will add an extra dimension to your training. Uh, so with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'm gonna take this device off and show you a little bit of a close up of how it is uh, a little bit, you know, when I take off the, uh, the Velcro straps. So this is the device. It's got little cutouts for the eyes. On the back, you have uh, the Velcro strap. And um, the reason why I wanted to hook it up, like I mentioned, um, on a heavier bag was the fact that, you know, the bag itself is not gonna move around too much. And uh, I think it would have been a little bit better. This device would be a little bit better on a heavier uh, piece of um, uh, bag equipment. So. Uh, with that said, unique, cool device, uh, as long as you can strap it on right and it doesn't move, otherwise it could get a little annoying, but if it stays on, it could be a, a cool device to have. So with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.